autumn. Today I wanted to do the third and final video in the sort of full face of Chanel series that I've been doing. This look is a little bit more smoky and sultry. I used some reds on the eyes um, and also it's less glowy than the others. Um, I tend to use a lot of glowy products and always try to go for that sort of fresh face look. This one's a little bit more mattified, a little bit more smoky. This is something that I would wear maybe on a night out if I wanted obviously the makeup to last um, like through dancing or something like that. This is what I would go for. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, we're going into the get ready with me right now. All right, so this is going to be the more like glam or dramatic look. Um, the two main products that I really want to focus on here are the Vita Lumiere Aqua because I haven't used that in any of the other looks. And then also this quad that is part of their permanent range, which is Candor at Experience. Don't know what it means. I'll maybe have that on the screen here, but it's got like that beautiful red shade in it. I might splash in some of the shimmery shades from the new Mediterranean palette as well and just mix in some of the other products um, that I have from Chanel. So I've moisturized my skin and I'm just going to go in with the Vita Lumiere Aqua. I'm not going to use this water tint today. I've used it in the other two and honestly, I think I'm going to use that more for like no makeup makeup kind of looks where I just want like a tint and then I'll just use a little bit of concealer where I need it. Um, that's not really something I think I'm going to continue to use under foundation. So let me shake this really well. This shade I think is a little bit off for me. This is 20 beige. Um, it's a little warm. Well, not warm, just it goes a little bit orange on my skin. It's a little bit dark. And I'm gonna use this sort of brush and see how that works out for it. Um, I squeezed it out on my hand and then didn't even think about like what I was gonna use to put it on my face. Again, it's very fragranced. I can smell the fragrance in it. Maybe it's because the redness of my skin are on camera, but it does, I might need to just go in with my hands because it looks like it's going on a little bit patchy. Maybe I should go grab a beauty blender. I thought if I used a beauty blender, it would take away some of the coverage. I mean, that doesn't look, that doesn't look too bad. I think the, it's not really that the foundation is patchy. I think that it's my complexion, um, the redness in my skin. I think that's a little bit better. I find that I have to use a lot of this foundation um, compared to some of the others and like I squeeze it out and everything, but like I only use like one or two pumps on my whole face of the other foundations. And this isn't really any more sheer than the others, but it's more of a lotion-y type texture and it's harder to spread around on the face. It's like a watery lotion, I mean, it is called Vita Lumiere Aqua. And we'll fix the rest of the coloring in a little bit with some concealer. I wanna go in with this and put a little bit of color in my face and down my neck to kind of blend all the tones. Again, I'm using this Merit Beauty brush. I'm just using this thing for everything. And maybe I should have used a primer, but I don't know. Maybe it's just my, <laughs> maybe it's just the monitor um, that I'm looking over in that is like making me feel self-conscious about this makeup today, but it doesn't look like it's applying as good as the others did, like the other foundations. Could also be more noticeable because this tone again is a little bit off for me. A lot of the times it's easier to notice when something isn't quite right with the foundation when the tone is off um, because it just stands out more. All right, so let's go in with the concealer. This is in shade B20. Same shade as the foundation. And I'm just gonna hit around the eyes, um, around the nose chin area and then maybe hit some of this redness over here. I do have some blemishes 
Um, and I don't know, they are the type of blemishes that you get when a product is not agreeing with your skin. And I have been wearing Chanel all week. So I'm not quite sure which product it is. I mean, it could be other things too, but. Yeah, I really think that the concealer helped even things out. I'm gonna go ahead and powder. I wasn't going to, but I think, go. I think the look might be a little bit more even if I do. So let's get to the fun part, which is obviously the eyeshadows. I think I'm gonna do my eyebrows first and then I'll be right back. All right, so I filled in my eyebrows. So let's just go ahead and start on the eye look. Um, and I'm also, I was like looking up close at my complexion and I feel like it's, once the powder and everything and the concealer and everything's on, I feel like my complexion's starting to look better, which makes me feel better because at first I wasn't so sure. I was even considering scrapping this video. Anyway. I'm first gonna go in with the lightest shade and just kind of like make myself um, a crease. Well, which I have a crease, but I'm gonna define it. Again, I'm not gonna go super low to like drag my eye down. I'm just gonna kind of keep it up in here. And I'm even gonna take it up here to the bottom of the brow, like right there. I don't think I have used this Quad since I got it. Well, I've I've used it before, but I used it when I first got it, and it was like a fall release. And I think originally it was limited edition. I've had this for a long time, and um, and then it just kind of sat in my drawer. I didn't know that it's now part of the permanent range or how long it's been part of the permanent range. I'm gonna take this clean, fluffy brush. This is just from NYX. And I'm gonna blend that out so you can't really tell like where it began. It's just gonna be very blended. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with this slightly deeper one right here. It's a little bit more warm also, but I'm taking it on a smaller fluffy blending brush to kind of get it into the crease a little bit more. my eyes are uneven so again this is why I normally don't do dramatic looks because my crease over here like if you see it's like almost like a you go up it's one shape and then you go down so I'm gonna have to like fill it in down here to really work it in all right and then I'm gonna go in with that original fluffy brush and then just kind of blend the shades together and then I'm gonna make this kind of a smoky look. I'm gonna take this deepest brown shade and I'm going to find something to work it in really close to the lash line and then I'm gonna blend up. So I have this flat brush, it's the Refer 02. And I'm just gonna go into that and put it into the lash line and then it kind of up into the crease right here. Then I'm also going to work it a little bit on the outer portion of the lower lash line. And I know it's, it's looking even more red on camera, like this brown has a red undertone. All right. And we're gonna go back in with this original brush and just blend. And then I have this Refer 12, which is kind of like a pencil brush. And I'm gonna blend the lower lash line using that. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this angled liner brush. Um, into the red shade. And I'm gonna line my eye with the red and then blend. 
And I know a lot of people don't like red this close to their eye because they think it makes them look sick, but I feel like mascara really helps a lot of that anyway. And I think if you have any green in your eyes, um, which I do, my eyes are brown, but there's they're brown with like a green undertone, that it really brings out the green in your eyes. And then I'm just gonna go in with the Repper 12 again and blend that. And I may have to do this a couple of times until I get the intensity around the eyes that I want. I'm gonna take the same pencil brush that I just used and go into that lightest shade that I originally put in the crease. And I'm gonna run that along the lower lash line um, to just smoke out the lower lash line. All right, and now I'm just gonna dip into the newer palette, the Mediterranean palette. And I am going to use this more kind of champagne-y, like rose gold shade. I'm just gonna put it on the same kind of brush here. And I'm gonna put it on the center of the lid kind of in, just to give a little bit of shine. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. All right, and then just one final blend. I feel like I need to blend it like right here. My arch goes up higher <laughs> on this side, so I sometimes feel like I need to get the color a little bit closer to make my eyes look even. All right, so let's go in to cheek products. I need to Google and see which of my Chanel blushes. I know for a fact I have Accent. I know for a fact that that one is no longer in, but I'm pretty sure Golden Sun is still sold, so we'll use that one if it is still available. Yes, so Golden Stun is still available, so we're gonna use that blush. And I'm gonna go in with this Refer 05 brush and just go into the powder. Yeah, that's a really pretty blush. I forgot how pretty it was. I'll bring it across the nose too. Even a little on the forehead. All right, I think that is enough blush. Let's do mascara so that my eyes look less crazy. All right, I'm just gonna go in with my Laura Mercier eyelash curlers. And then I'm gonna apply the mascara. This is the same mascara I've used in all three videos. It's the Chanel, La Volume de Chanel Waterproof. Um, so I am gonna speed this up because you've seen it in all the other videos. I'm done with the mascara and I hopefully don't ruin my look but since this is more of like a glam kind of look for me or like a going out look that's usually when I wear a highlighter because I like to have like that sort of like sweaty look <laughs> and it's funny I say like going out I never go out but I am going to apply this highlighter over it I don't have a Chanel powder highlight so hopefully this formula doesn't mess up the skin I don't think it will, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna put it on my finger instead of swiping it on. And we're just gonna put it like right there. I feel like a mattified look looks way more perfected, but there's something about having a glow to your skin that makes you look healthy. So it's really hard to get like a perfected glowy look. So it's either you're like perfected and mattified or perfected and glowy. You can sometimes get a mattified glowy look with a powder highlight. Um, like a good one for that would be like the Laura Mercier um, Highlight 01 if you're kind of going for a matte look with just a subtle highlight. Um, but I don't think this is necessarily ruining the look, but it does give it like a whole new vibe. And maybe I should have just like not done highlight. Like not every look has to have highlight. <laughs> that doesn't look too bad. And let's go in and do lips. Again, the only lip products I have from Chanel, I have the Chanel Lip and Cheek. And then I have Chanel Boy. So we're gonna go in with Boy. And that is the final look. After I've put on the mascara, let me just do this. 
But after I put on the mascara, my eye look looks, I don't know, like less wild with the red. And now I'm thinking I should have used even more red. I need to get like a Q-tip real quick. I have a little bit of mascara on my lid right here, so I'm just gonna go in after it. I don't know, should I add more red? You know what, I'm not gonna add more red. I am gonna go like fix my hair and I'll be back so you can actually like see the completed look with like normal person hair. All right, so this is the final look. I did actually go in and put some powder in over that highlight. Not every look needs to be glowy and like fresh looking. There's something to be said for a matte look. So you can still see some of that glow underneath, but it's not like over glow. I, I just didn't feel like it meshed well with the look. Also, I did then go back in with the blush that I had used before in Golden Sun to kind of put the color back after I had powdered over that area. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you liked this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye. Hey,